Are you working in BPO, KPO or non-IT job and you want to shift to IT sector? You are not alone friends. Many people feel stuck in night shifts with low salary growth. So in this video, I will share the complete roadmap how to move from non-IT job to high paying software job. We discuss which technology to choose, how to manage time with your current job and how to fix your resume. In this video, I will cover the topics. Is it possible for arts or commerce students to join into IT industry? And which programming language is best for beginners? How to study while working night shifts? So how to use your non-IT job experience to get an IT job? Okay, so if you are serious about your career transition, then this video is for you. So this is Lakshman, welcome back to the YouTube channel. First, let's clear your mind. Many people don't start because they are scared. Like uh, uh, I need B.Tech or computer science degree. But in reality, in India, uh, maybe uh, the big MNC companies can ask uh, like degrees for freshers, such as TCS, Infosys, Accenture, like this company. But startups and mid-sized product-based companies, they are care more about skills only. So if you can write code and build a website, they will hire you. They don't care if you are from uh, BCom or BERCA. And one more myth also is going on in every mind who are from arts and commerce background. I need to be an expert in mathematics. In reality, you don't need advanced calculation. You just need basic logic. If you can solve uh, some small puzzles, you can learn to code. And third one is also very important. Most of the non it job people, they think that my non it job experience is waste. But in reality, your experience proves you can work in a professional environment. It shows you, you can talk to the clients. So this is the soft skills and IT companies love good communication skills people. So stop worrying about your degree, your past. So focus on your future skills in 2026. Here the biggest question is, what should I learn? The IT world is very big. So don't try to learn everything. You have to pick one path which is suitable to your natural skill set. Okay, so I will suggest you three best options for non-IT job professionals. The first one is web development. Second one is software testing. And third one is data analytics. If you feel I can do some coding, then you can choose the web development course. That means uh, you have to build the websites. First, you have to learn the HTML, CSS, JavaScript and React. It is easy to start if you are good at some basic programming. Okay, so these are because there are thousands of jobs are there uh, for React JS developers. Okay. In case if you are feeling, in case if you think coding is difficult, then look at for automation testing. First, you have to learn some manual testing concepts, then automation. You can learn Selenium with Java or Python, or you can also learn Playwright also. And if you are feel I don't want to do any coding or testing job also, I am good at some uh, Excel concepts and some SQL queries, then you can learn the data analytics. Okay, you have to learn advanced Excel, SQL and Power BI. So you don't need to write heavy code here. You just need to analyze the data. So my advice here to choose the technology, first start with the HTML and CSS. Okay, so give it one week. If you enjoy it, go for web development. If you are not understanding the concept, then you just quit that one and try to learn the data analytics okay or cloud computing or some other latest technologies as well based on your interest you can choose uh, and next part is very important this is the hardest part so you are working a nine hour shift you are already tired then how to i can do some time management how i can study so my answer is you have to make some sacrifice here for the next two six months friends you have to say goodbye to Netflix, Amazon Prime, Instagram Reels and uh, uh, partying on weekends. So here is the schedule for uh, night shift worker. Let's say you are work from uh, 6 p.m. to 3 a.m. You come home, sleep and wake up around 11 a.m. or 12 p.m. From 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. This is your golden time. Before go to the 
Before you go to the office, study for 2 hours. Your brain is fresh. Don't study after work. You will be too tired. Study before work. Weekends are for coding. Saturday and Sunday, you need to put 5 to 6 hours. And also, you have to remember one key point here. You have to avoid one thing here. Many candidates are doing, they are just watching YouTube videos. Okay. Uh, they watch 10 hours for Python videos but cannot write a one line of code. Here the important point is if you want to get a job, if you watch a video for one hour, you must practice coding for two hours. Build small things. Okay, like a to-do list, login page, like this. So after completion of your training, then you have to take next step that is how to get the interviews. How to think like to build a resume. Okay, so after building a strong resume, the next step is how to prepare the interviews. So during interview preparation, you have to apply on various job portals. Don't just apply on only naukri.com. Go to LinkedIn, connect with the HRs of a small company, send them message. And my final conclusion words are, who are moving from non-IT to IT will change your life. It will change your salary, your lifestyle and your future also. But it requires, but it requires hard work. There is no magic button. You have to sit in front of the laptop when you are tired. You have to debug errors when you are frustrated. But trust me, the day you get that offer letter, every second of hard work will be worth it. If you are starting this journey today, type I'm ready in the comments below. Let's motivate each other. So don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more career guidance. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.